hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Dele I am a Nigerian youtuber based in England welcome to my channel if this is your first time seeing this gorgeous face do not forget to like share subscribe all of those good 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 stuff so let's go straight into today's video thank you so much for all those that have watched the video i put it last week the video was about the cultural shock i experienced while i was in Cote d'Ivoire few weeks few months ago now in october and you guys you seem to like the video got lots of comments on youtube and also on instagram so if you are if, if you are yet to watch that video i put the link in the description box please do watch that video like share and subscribe all of those good 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 stuff i visited america recently i think december yes and i thought to film a video talk about the cultural shock that i experienced as a british nigerian visiting america I've been to America so many times. I've been to other states. I was in Maryland, to be precise. Maryland, Washington, D.C. Firstly, I'm just only going to talk about my experience. If your experience is different or you have more experience to share with us, please leave it in the comment section so that we can all talk about your experience. You of Jack Pye and you want to live in Nigeria or your, your own country, I am not too sure if you want to go to America or you want to go to the U.K., please watch this video. This video might give an idea of what to expect. First cultural shock that I experienced, obviously, was the accent. I live in the UK and we speak the people, most people in the UK that I come in contact with, I work with, I live with, who have a British accent. I live when I was growing up in Nigeria, I was obsessed with the American accent. I didn't really like the British accent. I didn't know. I think because representation, because while growing up in Nigeria, we watched a lot, a lot of American movies, a lot of American TV shows like Moesha, One on One, Packers. Lots of American shows. Obviously, that's what we understood to be a, a foreign accent that is different from the Nigerian accent. When I moved to the UK, it, it, it took me a while to adjust to the British accent because, as I said, I was used to the American accent. I said, ah, why is this accent different from the one we, we hear on TV? But obviously, we were watching a lot of American TV shows then. So for me, when I then went to America and everywhere around me, all I could hear was the American accent. In the stores, in the supermarkets, at the malls, my sisters, my nephews, my nieces, everyone was speaking American accent. Uh, do I like the American accent? I used to think that was the best accent in the world. But obviously now I think otherwise because why? I live in the UK and I love the British, British, I cannot speak, the British accent. If you... You can leave a comment and tell me what accent you prefer. Do you prefer the American accent or the British accent? Obviously, that was my first cultural shock. Like, oh, this is different from what I'm used to. And I'll obviously pick a British accent over an American accent any day. Um, any by time. the way, this is not my first visit to America. I've visited America so many times. I have siblings that live in America. So America is like our second home. America is more of, a, of my home more than Nigeria because I visit America more than I visit Nigeria. Um, the because... second cultural shock that I experienced as a British Nigerian visiting America was the size of their properties the size of their houses even for the apartment even those that live in apartments in america they have en suites yes they have work in their work well, yeah they have walk-in wardrobes or inbuilt wardrobes in their apartment this is not even the houses these are apartments we, we, we refer to apartments as flats in the uk if you visit a, <laughs> a flat in the uk is like a box room well not all flat there are some nice big size average size flats mm, yeah but for for an, for an apartment in america to have an inbuilt wardrobe or a walk-in wardrobe and an ensuite even if it's a bed two bedroom apartment most of the apartment that those are visited the uk a two or three bedroom flats do not even have or you have to buy your own wardrobe when i was moving to the uk i was surprised to find out that most of the houses in the uk that i visited did not have a wardrobe you have to buy your own wardrobe and obviously they are not en suite you have to obviously share a bathroom with everyone else in the flat or in the house master bedrooms in the uk do have en suite like i said they are building modern houses now most of these modern houses that we have in the uk but obviously you cannot compare the size of a three-bedroom house in the uk to a three-bedroom house in america a three-bedroom house in america some who have an ensuite in all of the rooms we have walking wardrobes in all of the rooms or in wardrobes in all of the rooms 
we we'll have a guest toilet downstairs we we'll have a driveway at the front in the front of the property the next cultural shock that I experienced for me that i think that wow we need this in the uk drive through pharmacy and a drive through um banks imagine we have a drive through bank in the uk obviously now most of us we, sh uh, we bank online thank god for online bank I remember last time i went to a bank but maybe if you have to go to a bank for one reason or the other imagine you don't have to get out of the car you sit in your own comfort of your own car and you have your transaction all sorted while in the car how cool is that some transactions you have to go into the bank obviously to get it done but for like cashing money from the atm depo depositing money into the atm depositing a check check they still use checks in america come on let them i saw a check in the i don't even think banks still accept checks i don't even think any banks still um checks available for their um customers but anyway in america they still have checks and they can deposit the checks through the drive through um service or then imagine guys they have a drive through pharmacy like a drive through pharmacy imagine we have that in the uk because sometimes it's cold it's raining and you just want to sit in the car you don't want to get out of the car and then you have the opportunity to pick up your meds buy some items through the drive through service at the pharmacy thank you jesus but obviously we don't have that in the uk and that was so shocking to me like and it's it's, it's been in existence for years because like I said, this is not the first time I visited America. So I've never obviously done a sit-down video before. But the first time I went to America was in 2003. And they had a drive through pharmacy then. And they had a, a drive through bank then, I remember. So this is, not, this is not a new system that they put in place in America. They've had it for many years. So I don't know why in the UK we haven't adopted that system yet. I think I know it's good to be active. It's times it's so cold. You are so tired. All you want to do is just go home. And just want to pick something up quickly from the pharmacy. Or you want to quickly deposit something, uh, de de deposit a cash at the bank you don't have to get out of your car you can do it in the comfort of your own car how cool is that like hopefully the uk government will adopt that system i think it's a cool system especially for the elderly for the disabled you know i think it would be a great service but yeah that was something that was so surprising to me now like a drive through bank and pharmacy i'm not sure there's any other country in the world that do have this service but i've not been i've not been everywhere in the world but if you know around that country within europe within asia that obviously has this um, drive through services please leave it in the comment section so that you can educate us and we can learn more customer service in america is top notch and i when i said this to my sister my sister said oh it's because obviously they wanted to tip because they are they are high on tips in america when we go to the restaurant in the uk if i go to a restaurant i don't feel like i have to tip but it's, it's like a taboo yeah that's what i'm looking for it's like a taboo not to tap not to tip it, it should be an option if i don't want to tip you because for one reason or the other maybe because i don't have enough money to tip you or maybe i don't feel like you've you've go, gone far beyond f with your service today i shouldn't be ob ob obliged want to tip it because of the service that you have provided and to be honest that's their job another thing i noticed that when i went to the mall this particular day i was it was a very busy day for us i didn't want to spend too long at this particular store so i went there quickly i saw one or two items that i grabbed and i was holding on to the item and then when i first thing i first noticed that when you walk into the stores in america in the mall they have a smile on their face and they, they greet you as you walk in it doesn't matter how busy it is it doesn't matter how many people are working at the same time or come you into the store that was very different because in the uk the attitude that you get sometimes not all the time sometimes from some of these um sales assistants you're like oh no i have to experience this today or sometimes i leave the store if I, if I don't really have to buy anything from that store i just feel like oh i can't deal with this attitude i'm leaving but in america this particular day i was talking about i was it was a quite a busy day for us i didn't want to spend too long at this particular store so i was picking one or two items quickly and I was holding on to it to my chest, like you know when you have pick one or two times items from those from the rack and you're holding on to your chest because you really want to just want to go to the till. Obviously, I should have picked a basket, but I didn't pick up. I, mean, I did pick a basket. But I said I didn't want to be. I didn't want to spend too much time at this particular store. And then I saw this lady staring at me. One of the sales assistants. I was thinking, why she's staring at me? But I, I was I was too busy to even care why she was staring at me. And then within a minute or so, she came back with a basket and she handed out the basket to me. Oh, ma'am. I feel like you 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 have a lot of items you're holding. You want to put these items in the basket. In the UK, I have never experienced that. If you like, we put in, put all the items on your head, on your chest, on your back. The sort of times you don't be walking past. They don't even care. If you like, be dragging the clothing items with your feet. They don't care. 
for me that's what i've experienced most of the stores that i go to in the uk so that was really a cultural shock for me like it's not it's, it's not even apart from you being nice to me when i first walk into the store you seem approachable you seem welcoming and then as and you said that you, as, as soon as you notice that i'm struggling with the items i have with me you get me a basket that is top notch like i was so impressed like wow like we need to adopt the system in the uk like i was so impressed with the sales assistants in all of the stores that and i visited a lot of stores why i'm emphasizing on this point that yes at the restaurant the the baristas want you to tip them and that's why they go far and beyond at the restaurant to serve you but what about in the malls at the supermarkets you don't have to tip them they don't require you're not required to tip them. i didn't even tip any one of them but they still were nice approachable walked welcomed me into the store experience otherwise please leave it also in the comment section so that we can know and we can educate each other and also talk about it in the comment section so another cultural shock that I experienced was the fashion oh my god so growing up in nigeria we used to watch a lot of american movies like i said earlier and a lot of american tv programs what i watched on tv growing up in nigeria when i moved to the uk i was really i was a bit i don't like the way they dress over here in the uk so anyway time we move back by the time we go to america i'm sure we'll see what it's like to you know because if you know me right from when i was a child i've always had uh, always had interest in fashion and i still have interest in fashion i am i love fashion i love i love people that take their time to look good it impresses me so when i moved to the uk i wasn't too impressed with their fashions what's going on there but obviously because when you go to the mall that's when you see what is trending because then there was no online shopping then it was over 20 years ago see what people are wearing when you go to the mall when you go to the supermarkets when you go to church obviously people wear what is trending i think okay i'm not too impressed with their fashion in the uk so what are they wearing here in america pride in my fashion i like coming to the stores i was looking for that jeans the trending tops the jewelry the i like they all just look all ghetto i forgot ah, is this america like so when i got to the tenth store i think ah america you don't people don't know fashion ah americans you people don't know fashion even the way they were dressed like when you go to the mall you see the way people are dressed ah my uk people i was so disappointed yes i said it don't come for me in the comment section americans where 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 are you going ah, i was looking i could not there's not i could not see a pair of jeans i could buy for myself in the stores it is this you see me that wear it no 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 i was so disappointed like if you know me you know me and fashion we are five and six and some of their bags their watches some of the shoes but mainly the clothing items like i i was they all just look ghetto like i said where will i find something i can buy for myself that i can take pride in putting on although this top is pretty i got it from i think i bought it from burlington even when i went into burlington i went into ross i was like they all just look ghetto like it's me that will wear this outfit no i was expecting more when it comes to fashion in america those american movies they had they have stylists obviously so obviously the stylists will have to combine their outfits but for the for the regular americans uh no 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 if it's a barbecue outfit we are there for you if it's to go to a night out we know what to wear if it's to go to church we know what to go and praise the lord with if it's to go and pick up the kids we are here for you like you don't doll when it comes to fashion my, i take pride with my ukb when it comes to fashion I say, americans people do not do well low. like even your stores i know americans that come to the uk and shop because what we have the land of fashion. This is the America that we are all shouting about. Service. Mm -hmm. So we've been to America, like I said, we've been to America so many times, but we've never gotten the opportunity to use the train because in America, it's mainly you have people that drive around. But this time around, because obviously we had kids with us, wanted them to experience using the train in America. So we used the train from um, Greenbelt to the Washington DC, where we visited the White House. Train. They had the, like the card, like the Oyster card, like we have in the UK. I'm not sure when they introduce that in the america because i because i've never used the train and i'm sure if i even ask my sisters or my friends they won't even know because most people in america don't use the train but when we used the train this particular day we had to get the oyster card we paid was 55 dollars return for five of us two adults and three kids we went to central it's like going to central london because the dc is like in downtown they call it downtown we call it central london <laughs> so it was like that down downtown was like 55 return so i'm not sure if we, 
i'm not i think that's not too expensive compared i think mainly if you also go to central london from maybe like zone four or zone five in the in london most likely gonna also pay something around 50 pounds for five of you yes so i think the price was fair to be honest but then what i also noticed about their train that you could use your phone on the train even while on the ground in the uk or in london if you use the train on the ground there's no signal until you get to the next station at the next station you can use a free wi-fi of from your network like for me i use ee so i have i can use the ee free wi-fi at the station but while the train is moving on the ground there's no signal in, in london but i noticed that for them in america even while on the ground they had signal so I, that was so impressive to be honest because i know before many years ago even while at the station in in london you do not have access to using the internet you have to grounds and railways do have service on the train because they are they are not on the ground but we used this service the train that we used to from green belt to dc was an underground we're on the ground beautiful stations to, to be to, to be honest they are the underground look very very modern compared to our storm stations in london god some of our stations in london needs a a full renovation but i noticed that their underground was quite beautiful i put some pictures on the screen beautiful but we had access to the internet even while on the ground so that was impressive for me so i really like that fact about train service Point and then is, the last no party like a lagos party no party like a lagos party i know that's a um, cultural shock for me this time when i went to america i did not go to a, i didn't go for any parties because yeah i didn't we didn't attend any parties but obviously like i said i've been to america so many times so i do attend weddings events but let's talk about this again there is no party like a london party i want to me and you da. like there is no party like i know people say there's no party like a lagos party yeah 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 after lagos london we are next i want da nibo like there is no party like a london party like and i wonder when to their party because they have live bands you know mm, they try like they have djs even their djs you're thinking which like this is based on my experience if you feel otherwise or you have experienced something totally different from what i'm talking about right now please leave it in the comment section but guys like there is no party like a london party even the way the girls would look with their outfits with their shoe bees my i should be bellas like on point and then the dj on point the food on point the alere the live band on point but in america ah, it gets as a bio like you're thinking okay let me see what the yaya is wearing let me see what the bride is wearing let me uh, you'll be looking for the style like you know not when you go to a party you're telling yourself that's the next style i'm going to so you even go to the lady so can i take a picture of your outfit you look so gorgeous i need to sew this outfit for my next event i will be looking for the style where i'll be looking i cannot see them looking on perfect uh, what is going on here like you guys you're not looking impressive like even the food okay it's not like you know when you have proper abula in nigerian party in london you feel like you're in nigeria you're in a lagos party i didn't get that vibe when i was in some parties in america thinking okay when are we gonna finish the party so we can go home because i wasn't feeling the vibe at the party then even then the dj some djs from point some djs are thinking they did not pay your balance you know? why are you why are you play music like this like guys no i know lagos party is uh, is number one they are our leader we give them thank you lagos but then we are next in line proudly we londoners like proudly even when i share videos of events i attend in london my friends that live in america they leave comment my sister ah, if you like to enjoy in london yes so i ah, would not come to this life to suffer i'm done with event planners they've stepped up like you even when you see some pictures, i have to be looking for the location like is this nigeria or is this london they've stepped up their game i am not saying every party in america is like this i'm just saying based on my experience like i haven't seen a party that i've attended that i feel like oh, okay even the people that don't know how to party even the guests the the celebrants you'll be begging them to party even with that we are the, we are we are foreigners we are teaching them how to party in this in america no 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 like <laughs> <laughs> guys i feel like ah, uh, uh, no no i was not impressed but yes so these are all the cultural shock that i experienced 
when i visited um, america if the other culture workshop that you experienced because i don't want the video to be too long 30 minutes already wow so i'm gonna have to stop here guys because otherwise i don't want the video to be too long if the other cultural shock that you've experienced as a british nigerian visiting america please leave it in the comment section I'm coming back with this content for you guys if you like what you see leave a comment subscribe you like you share you know before you jatma you should know all of these things so that you are you are informed of where you are you are located to when people like us were moving to the uk we were there were no videos like this out there to inform us of what to expect moving to a foreign country so i'm glad that we have platforms like youtube instagram tiktok that can inform guys like you guys are thinking of jatma in from nigeria or from your um, home country so guys this brings me to the end of today's video do not forget to like share subscribe all of those good 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 stuff i'll see you in my next video bye bye